Hey, this is Jim, part of the NDI November team, and we have a special segment for you today with Panasonic. Panasonic is expanding a lot of their production workflows, integrating the NDI technology, and we've asked Keith from Panasonic to join us to talk about some of the exciting stuff throughout the entire product line and the NDI implementations and more. We're going to talk about everything from their PTZ camera lineup to some of their other camera and switcher workflows, as well as their latest production system, the Panasonic Keros. You can reach out to us here with the NDI November team. We can connect you with a Keros dealer anywhere throughout the country. We have system integrators who can help you get up and running with any of the production systems that we are talking about today. Hey, Keith, thank you for joining us. No, thanks so much, Jim. Thanks for having me. So why don't we start with just a brief introduction of who you are, what you're doing with Panasonic, and how Panasonic can really help our customers to get into these NDI solutions. So my name again is Keith and I'm the engineering manager at Panasonic Connect. So my responsibilities entail just about all the cool products we make. Everything from studio cameras to switchers, from PTZ cameras to camcorders, uh, all of our professional video and audio products are ones that I get to work with on a daily basis. So I like to say I've got the best job in the company. I also get to dive deep into the technical capabilities and also work with customers on how they're used creatively. So again, a great role to help people bring their creative visions to life using Panasonic technology. That's great. And I would imagine with the breadth of products available from Panasonic, that your day-to-day -day job has to change constantly just with the level of products that you get to play with from one day to the next, huh? Exactly right. Some days it's a, a NBA game and how our switcher is being used to bring that uh, to a wide audience. Other times right. it's about our studio cameras at a huge concert. Still other occasions or days of the week, we're talking about PTZs for big corporate events uh, and many other examples like that, including audio and again, camcorders, uh, our new multi or MPS, uh, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. Um, right. So uh, again, no two days alike and no two customers alike. And so it's great to have products to help people. That's excellent. And that, that is one of the messages that we're definitely trying to get across all month long is how this technology can really be used in a wide range of different applications, uh, different workflows all across the production industry. Depending on the type of video work with you're doing, your needs are going to change, uh, your priorities are going to change, and even the products that you use to share your production message can change from one workflow to the next. One of the things that's really exciting is Panasonic announced just a, a little bit earlier this year, NDI capabilities across a much wider range of their product line. Keith, can you tell us about that announcement? Sure thing. So we're proud to announce that we've got NDI built in now to basically all of our PTZs. We've got it built into just about all of our switchers. Uh, and now the um, newest member of the Panasonic family to integrate NDI is going to be our UCX100 camera that was just released and announced and uh, new products as well that uh, have yet to come out, our box cameras notably, uh, and of course, uh, most importantly, we'll say our PTC cameras, again, are the ones that uh, employ NDI in a way that most people use it. Absolutely. And then you're also integrating NDI from the production point of view with some of the switches and even the Keros production systems, right? Yeah, I have to say that uh, Keros holds a special place in my heart because it's one of the products that I started with at Panasonic. And I uh, was happy to see that NDI was part of it, both from an input and an output standpoint capacity. Um, and that has remained uh, since those early product days of Keros and the newest models still employ NDI. We see it used not only with Panasonic products, but with third party products as well, like uh, graphics systems and all that, uh, up to the, including the point where we can include uh, Alpha Channel embedded along with the actual video signal. Um, and it's a very popular workflow for houses of worship and other corporate customers. That's excellent. Now, Keith, I know Panasonic was one of the first PTZ camera manufacturers to integrate NDI into some of the camera models. Now we've expanded into all of the PTZ camera models. So obviously NDI technology is a key element to that PTZ camera workflow. What are some of the things that you see that make NDI so important for the customers? Well, in a camera that has basically just about every kind of interface you can think of from HDMI to SDI. There's cameras that even have 2110 in the Panasonic world. Uh, that collection of options uh, gives people a lot of flexibility. 
But there are times when people want the simplest possible way to connect. Uh, there is obviously going to be a network interface involved, not only to power the camera, but you might have control as well over that network interface. And now to have video over that same network interface that easily, or I should say, is easily identifiable, that anybody can see its name from a drop-down list uh, in an NDI product or NDI-enabled product, rather, um, that they can simply select that. Uh, that ease of use is something that so many people really love because they want to combine that super high quality that comes out of the Panasonic PTZ, but again, pair it with the simplicity of use so that again, no matter where you are, if you're a hardcore engineer who does this every day or the occasional user who now needs to put on a show, uh, that simplicity that NDI brings is something that all of our customers prize. And that's why it's now part of every PTZ we make. And I would imagine that's a good reason why you introduced it into the camcorders 4K cameras, the cinema cameras, to give your customers that are looking for um, workflows that not only include the PTZ cameras, but now can also be complemented with some of your other camera solutions to all play within that AV over IP family, right? Exactly right. And now that can all be combined with the Panasonic switches and of course with the Kairos production systems. How does NDI help complete the production workflow into something like the KROS, Keith? So for starters, it's great to have, again, the simplicity we mentioned before for connecting a NDI-enabled camera, for example, uh, or again, a third-party product. Uh, so it's really not any easier with any other platform, any other interface than it is with NDI to bring in a couple of sources or choose where it's going to when it leaves KROS. And you've got the flexibility of knowing that if you're uh, source is a particular resolution and frame rate that automatically comes across as well. Keros is renowned for being flexible when it comes to input flexibility, for having the ability to deal with resolutions that are different, frame rates that are different. So NDI, again, is a natural partner, if you will, to being able to bring in those sources of varying resolutions and frame rates. But also the idea that, I guess we touched on briefly before, now we've got this one signal, if you will, that is both a video from a graphic source, as we mentioned, but also including the alpha channel. So a two for one connectivity, if you will, that allows once again, that simplistic nature of what is otherwise a complex uh, world that we live in, especially in the production world, uh, to essentially have something that can be a single connection, bring both video and key, if you will, over and identify it simply, bring it in and combine it with other sources that might be entirely different. So. The idea that you can bring in all the different things you want with the simplicity of NDI and we'll say the power of it because it again combines multiple signals together, has resolutions up to 4K as we implement it. All those things make for a welcome bit of simplicity in what is otherwise again can be a challenging production environment. Keros's job in general is to make your life simple. NDI is a big part of that. That's great to hear. And I know Keros has really been adapted uh, in broadcast production workflows with ST2110, in venues across the country, anywhere from uh, production venues, music venues, concert halls, to houses of worship. Now, I would imagine with that NDI implementation, we're going to see it being used a lot more in live production workflows as well, right? I think so. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, there are folks that... Uh, you know, still want to go with traditional SDI-based workflows. And of course, Keros and other products support that. And 2110, the new kid on the block, uncompressed, it's its big claim to fame and why it gets selected for a lot of high-end productions. And NDI is integrated along with that in our switchers, in our cameras. So uh, the idea that there's one precise kind of interface that's used for an entire production these days, not so common. Uh, we see people frequently combining uncompressed sources like 2110 and SDI with NDI, again, for that simplicity, that ease of use. Uh, and there's other streaming formats as well that we can incorporate, for example, into Keros and that our PTCs use. But NDI really has come along uh, in terms of uh, popularity with high-end productions. Uh, the higher-end production, people used to think, well, NDI is not appropriate there, but not the case anymore. We see NDI used more and more for productions at every level. Well, especially if you're going to start integrating it into cameras like the UE160, which is one of the most popular flagship cameras on the market at those production levels. So now Panasonic has given you, with that integrated NDI technology, the, the cameras, the video sources, the 4K cameras, even cinema cameras that we talked about, as well as the production side of it with 
the switches that we talked about and the Chiros live production systems. So Keith, I know we talked about a lot of the exciting stuff happening with Panasonic, with the NDI world, but really Panasonic is a production solution giving the customers the ability to connect, hence the name Panasonic Connect, across <laughs> the entire workflow, right? Precisely. Uh, yeah. It's great to see how um, technologies, again, all based on customer desire, uh, find their way into more and more products. So NDI is probably the quintessential example of how we make our you know, world-renowned PTZ cameras and other products, and we I think that the quality alone is what drives customers to it, and certainly it does, but you know, no one technology now can essentially be used in the production world without other ones naturally being uh, brought into the mix. So we can be, for example, in a studio camera or in a PTZ outputting HDMI or SDI, and now NDI itself. In fact, we've got a studio camera head, the UCX100, which can output NDI directly from the camera head. So the idea that we look at things like just image quality and you know, um, overall resolution and frame rates and a high dynamic range, that's all super important. But along that uh, path, we still need to transmit those signals. Uh, and along with SDI and 2110, NDI is really grown up in terms of how it gets used for those high-end productions because we want to preserve that quality as much as possible and make it as easy as possible to use. So it's great to see NDI in that world. And that's why we've been implementing it in more and more of our products. In fact, there's Practically no products we don't implement NDI in at Panasonic these days. And, and what's great too is Panasonic has a very extensive network of system integrators throughout the country and throughout the world for that matter. So if you are working on an installation that would require some of the combinations between the products that we talked about today, you can reach out to us here at NDINovember.com or to Broadfield Distributing and we can connect you with a system integrator in your local area who can help you with all of these Panasonic Net solutions that we talked about today. Thank you so much for tuning in this afternoon. And Keith, you thank Keith, thank you for joining us. No, thanks so much, Jim. Happy to be a part of it. Thank you again. Make sure you tune in for all our NDI November sessions and check us out at ndinovember.com where you can have access to great shows like this one today and all the content we've been producing throughout the month. Until next time, thank you.